What's going on YouTube? GS right here. In today's video I have some important news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 11.2 and newer. The Houdini application might be updated soon, but we're going to start first with a recap. If you remember yesterday I made this video in here in which I gave you a lot of good news regarding a new vulnerability that may help on development of a new jailbreak or on the update of the Electra. If you remember, Coolstar also said about the vulnerability, quote, iOS 11.2 and 11.2.6 users stay on your current firmware. Well, he's talking about the vulnerability released by Chris Wade, and if you want to learn more about that, check out the video in here, it's going to be in the description down below. Now, MinSparkZank also demonstrated his full jailbreak with Cydia, and of course with mobile terminal running, and it's probably based either on the same vulnerability or on his vulnerability that he discovered, but he fixed the problem with the uh, Cydia not being installed and the APFS not being remounted. Anyways, in today's video we're discussing about Cheesecake UFO's tweet in which he says, iPad running Houdini Beta 3, and it says in here, Houdini Beta 3 iOS 11.x, which is pretty much a video demonstrating the Houdini Beta 3 running on an iOS 11.x device that is not iOS 11.1.2 or older. So if you take a look in here, the video is going to be in the description down below, and you remember probably Abraham Mastery, he has developed the Houdini, the Saigon jailbreak, and the Topanga jailbreak, and of course Houdini is not a jailbreak in itself, it pretty much allows you to install a few packages and do some modifications that you would only be able to do with an exploit and with a jailbreak so it's way more than a plus plus application or something like that it's very close to a jailbreak but it's not a jailbreak it's not installing Cydia but rather Houdini itself is a sort of package manager or sort of like tweak manager that applies the tweaks to the device you can see here the interface uh, I'm not going to get into the video it's going to be in the description down below don't forget to give it a like if you like it and to subscribe to Abraham Masri for more updates on that but anyways if you remember well Houdini started somewhere on iOS 10.8 up to 10.3.2 and it's been very very useful since when it started when the project has been created there was no jailbreak for the 10.3.2 uh, or 10.x and so on so it was very very useful then it's been updated for the 11 to 11.1.2 and I think it has been updated for the 11.x before Electra has been finished or before it started I don't remember from the top of my head but it's definitely been a very useful project in the past. And now it seems to be getting updated for the 11.2 up to 11.4 or something. There are rumors that it will support the 11.4, but I'm going to wait for an official word from Abraham Masri on that. But anyways, it will definitely support newer iOS 11.x, so iOS 11.3 probably, 11.2.6, 11.2.2, and so on. So definitely huge progress, because this will allow you to tweak your device and do some modifications that you wouldn't be able to do on the stock iOS, and it's definitely using some vulnerabilities, because the modification that this application can do cannot be done by simply using a plus plus application so it's definitely using some sort of sandbox escaping probably or something similar anyways this is the website where it's going to be updated most likely and for the moment it's not available it says not available yet update also allows you to remove Houdini on stock iOS and yeah it's pretty much a demo for the moment but it's very very likely that it will be released because the previous versions have been released in the past so yeah thank you for watching don't forget to check out this video as well to stay updated with anything that happened with the vulnerability and with the possible Electra update. I'm Geosnow. Until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated and peace out.